Are you tired of falling short of your New Year's resolution to get in shape? Let 2008 be the year you get the body you've always dreamed of. Merritt Athletic Clubs will guarantee you the results or they'll give you your money back. Call 1-800-NEW-SHAPE and ask about the results. Guarantee it, Merritt. I think what you're going to see now is, you know, he's basically given himself four more years to go ahead and build a winner. And after that, I think he's out. You know, I think he's going to continue to sell little pieces of this team. Do not be surprised if minority partners become a part of it. Don't be surprised if Bill Parcells ends up owning one, two percent of this franchise, you know, as a way to reward him if they go ahead and they win some games. You know, a lot of this comes down to estate planning, as good as this is. And I know we don't want to take the show too much in this direction, mm -hmm. but reality is when these guys die, what happens to the Raiders when Al Davis dies? Mm -hmm. Does anyone know? They start winning again. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, whoever's going to own them. But, you know, you no really know to that. Uh, right. Want you to resign. By the way, what's happened there in the last 40? I mean, I'm removed from it. I'm asking you guys to fill me in. What's happened in, in Oakland? I've been doing sports talk eight hours. I haven't been able to keep up with the world. It's all been just kind of status quo. You know, uh, Lane Kiffin has kept his mouth shut about it. Dennis Green has kind of pulled himself away from the whole situation. But I, I, I haven't seen any definitive proof that what was reported to have happened did not happen. It's crazy there. I mean, you're talking like Al Davis getting upset that Lane Kiffin doesn't wear clothes with a Raiders logo to the office. I mean, things like that, you know? I mean, they have goofy stuff. They're like no repeat Fridays where basically even if you screw up a play in practice, you don't practice it again because you're trying to get through an entire script. It is such a mess. I think the best thing that can happen for Lane Kiffin is to get fired. I think take the knowledge you learned from oh, one year and move heartbeat. on. Yeah, because <laughs> you like taking Mike Shanahan. No, so no, the exact same thing. no question. Hey, real quick, uh, Tony Dungy, I wanted to talk to you guys about him because we've had some guys coming around this week talking about the, the, the Super Bowl and how, uh, and, and Tony Gonzalez talked about the day with Michael Strahan. Last year, Dungy was sort of the guy that, th it was his crowning moment. It was, it was the, the time was right for him to finally get to the top. And it, it's really weird how he's so highly revered in the league, not just by the players, but by everybody. And I'm just wondering from the Giants standpoint, is there someone, is it Coughlin? I don't I don't know, is it? Maybe not. Is it Strahan? Is there someone, if the Giants were to win, that gets their crowning moment this week, like Dungey did last year? <laughs> That's a tough one. Probably the closest guy would be Eli. You know, because I think people have watched. Even, even three or four years into the league, though. That, that, yeah, I think okay. so, because I mean, this is a guy who's been, the spotlight has been on him since the moment he set foot on the University of Mississippi yeah, campus yeah. as a freshman. Mm -hmm. You know, are you going to follow your brother's footsteps? Mm -hmm. How good are you going to be? You know, are you going to be as good as your dad? You know, he's had the, he's had yes. the Manning bird. Yeah, yes, by the way, to his yeah, dad. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a yes. Yeah, the man, it's a, you know, some guys, they care, you know, it's, it's, some guys, it's, it's it's a burden. And some guys, it's a, they, they love carrying that sort of thing. And he's, realistically, when you look back at it all, he's kind of, he's handled it very well because he has taken, he's taken a lot of stuff, you know, over the years from North Rock College, uh, the whole manipulation of the trade, uh, you know, the losing right off the bat. And Looking like your prom date. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, really, I mean, I mean does right. he inspire you when you see that? If that, exactly. if that guy was in the huddle next to you, would you look there and, yeah. and really be inspired? And somehow he's yeah. put it all together. I think he's going to grow like a beard, he like needs, maybe a pencil thin mustache. Right? Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? Right, or like right, maybe yeah. the rolly fingers look. I mean, <laughs> something. But that would probably maybe be. That, maybe a shad, maybe that five o'clock shad. Right? right? I mean, but that would probably be the only guy you cheer for. Tom Coughlin still isn't exactly Mr. Warm and Fuzzy. Strahan, I think, is a guy that's big in New York, but I'm not sure if he's really like a beard loved player across the league. It's probably it is. a divisive round of league. It really <laughs> you know, like just like him. Right yeah, because he's a little bit of ego there. And it's interesting. I have a story coming out on FoxSports.com today about the Giants' defense. And if you had to pick one guy to build around, it'd just be O.C. and Manura. Oh, that's it. The rest of the guys right. are just sort of guys. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's a team that's really better collectively than the sum of its individual parts. And that's sort of what makes them. I know people want the Giants to win, but they're just cheering for the Giants. I don't think they're cheering for any particular player. No, they really are. I think they look cheering for the Giants collectively. And a lot of it is not even cheering for the Giants, it's cheering against the Patriots. Cheering against the Patriots to lose, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they got to factor that in. David Steele's hanging around with us from the Baltimore Sun. It's our uh, Steele deal. Alex Marvez is in on it as well from FoxSports.com. I want to talk a little NBA real quick for you guys. David, you and I have